everyone in today's video we will be solving a question on purchase ledger control accounts to further clarify our concepts so this is a question this is from past papers so we'll start solving it okay so purchase ledger balance at first may so this is our balance pd and because we treat our purchase ledger control account in a similar way as trade payable so the balance will be on our credit side 43120 credit purchases for the year this will be on our credit side as well purchases for the year eight two four one four zero okay so credit purchase returns will be on our debit side i've already explained that why credit purchases is on our credit side and credit purchase return on a debit side on in one of the videos you can check that out later cash paid to the trade payables we returned the amount we owe to our trade payables so this will be on our debit side cash purchases will not be included in our control accounts but but because it only deals with our credit purchases so this will not be included discount received on credit purchases this will be on our debit side credit balance transfer to sales ledger control account so this is basically our contra set of five two one zero okay so after listing down all the uh, transactions we will total the amounts on both the sides and as we can see this side is heavier so we will add this and this is eight six seven two six zero the balance cd will be on our debit side because this represents the amount we owe to our uh, we owe to our supplier the, the difference the balancing figure will be our balance CD which is 72270 this will come on the uh, credit side as our balance CD for the next term this okay so the questions in which they ask you to prepare sales ledger control accounts or purchase